Hey there, everybody. Don't be afraid. We're excited to embark on a journey with you through the top 10 strangest phobias we could find. Which one do you have? Let us know in the comments. Number one on our list of bizarre phobias, ablutophobia. Some people experience a genuine and often debilitating fear of bathing, washing or cleaning. The good news is, like most phobias, ablutophobia is often rooted in anxiety and can be effectively treated with therapy. There's hope for those living with ablutophobia to find relief and live fuller, cleaner lives. Coming in at number two is isoptrophobia, the fear of mirrors. This phobia goes beyond simply disliking one's reflection. It's a deep-seated fear triggered by the sight of mirrors, often leading to panic attacks and significant distress. Overcoming isoptrophobia often involves a combination of therapy and self-help strategies. Gradual exposure therapy, where individuals gradually confront their fear in a safe environment, can be particularly effective. Additionally, practicing self-compassion and challenging negative self-perceptions can help individuals develop a healthier relationship with their reflection. At number three, we have chetophobia, the persistent and irrational fear of hair. This phobia is thought to stem from a variety of factors, including genetics, traumatic experiences, and underlying psychological conditions such as OCD or GAD. Coping mechanisms can range from avoiding situations that trigger their fear to engaging in excessive cleaning rituals. Number four on our list might have you scratching your head. It's linenophobia, the fear of string. This phobia centers around an intense and irrational fear of string, yarn, rope, or anything resembling these materials. Imagine living with the constant fear of encountering string, avoiding crafts, or even dreading opening packages. For those who have experienced trauma related to string, seeking therapy and support systems is crucial for healing and overcoming the phobia. Therapists can help individuals process the trauma, develop coping mechanisms, and gradually confront their fears in a safe and controlled environment. Coming in at number five is, well, say it with me, Hippopotamonstrous Esquipedaliophobia, the fear of long words. The irony isn't lost on me with this one. This tongue-twisting phobia can be quite isolating, as sufferers often avoid reading, writing, and even speaking to avoid encountering long words. By gradually introducing longer words into their vocabulary and challenging negative thoughts associated with them, individuals can overcome their fear and unlock a world of linguistic possibilities. Number six on our list just might make you squirm a little. It's omphalophobia, the fear of belly buttons. This phobia can manifest in various ways, from avoiding contact with belly buttons to feeling disgusted by the sight of them. Therapeutic approaches, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, can help individuals identify and modify negative thoughts and behaviors associated with belly buttons. We've arrived at number seven on our list of bizarre phobias, and this one might resonate with some picky eaters out there. It's lacanophobia, the fear of vegetables. This isn't just a case of disliking the taste or texture of certain veggies. It's a genuine phobia that can cause significant distress and impact a person's diet and overall well-being. Therapy can help individuals explore the root cause of their fear, develop coping mechanisms, and gradually reintroduce vegetables into their diet. Number eight is trypophobia. And it's a phobia that has gained quite a bit of attention in recent years. Trypophobia is characterized by an aversion to clusters of small holes, bumps, or patterns. Psychological research suggests that trypophobia may be rooted in our evolutionary biology. Coping strategies for trypophobia vary depending on the severity of the phobia. But some effective methods include gradual exposure therapy and cognitive restructuring to challenge negative thoughts and associations. Dian. Next up, at number nine, we have globophobia, the fear of balloons. While balloons are often associated with joy, celebration, and childhood memories, for individuals with globophobia, they represent a source of intense fear and anxiety. 
This phobia often stems from a traumatic experience related to balloons, such as a balloon popping unexpectedly or a fear of being suffocated. Cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, can help individuals identify and change their negative thought patterns and behaviors related to balloons. And finally, rounding out our list at number 10, we have a phobia that's become increasingly relevant in our hyper-connected world. Nomophobia is the fear of being without a mobile phone or being unable to use it. This modern-day phobia highlights our growing dependence on technology and the anxiety that can arise from feeling disconnected. Strategies for reducing dependency on mobile devices include setting boundaries for phone usage and engaging in digital detoxes. Well, there you have it. Ten bizarre phobias you've likely never heard of. From the fear of bathing to the fear of long words, we've journeyed through a fascinating and sometimes perplexing world of phobias. If you or someone you know struggles with a phobia, know that help is available. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next top 10 list adventure. We're just getting started and we have so much more in store for you. We are just in time for all your top 10 list needs.